Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today uh, to Frogman 524. I'm going over my new Pro Eagle off road three ton jack that I got for my truck because now that I have the Cognito 4 to 6 on it with the 35s, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit hard to uh, lift it up uh, to do any maintenance on the suspension because the only spot that I'm able to lift it by now, right now, with my uh, three ton Duralas is from the lower control arm in the front or from the, uh, the differential in the back, which doesn't allow me to. Uh, work on anything in the suspension front or back. I can't reach the frame with it. I literally the jack doesn't even touch the frame So in another video, I'll get you some measurement differences But in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna show you what comes with your jack and I'm gonna show you uh, Exactly what the options are as far as the assembly and storage and uh, And what the information is as far as contacting Pro Eagle to uh, see what they have and what they offer and and uh, Get yours if you need it because they do work on you know, higher than normal trucks, lifted trucks, ATVs, UTVs, uh, you know, if you have a lifted trailer of some kind, it uh, gives you a lot of reach. Uh, two foot four inches with the eight inch, uh, eight inch extension that comes with it, and you can get another seven inches with a 15 inch extension uh, that they do offer on their website. But I'll go over that in the video and I'll show you the part number and everything that I got. And uh, I didn't really mention in there uh, what I paid for it, but I think it was about four. 400, 450, something like that. So, all right, guys, check out what I got. I got a new three ton jack from Pro Eagle. Um, this is a high lift uh, car jack with off road tires on it, so you can use it on your uh, ATV or your truck or whatever you need, uh, whether it's in the dirt, the sand, in your garage. I think it's got like a two foot, eight inch reach. Um, so, the reason I got this was because my truck is higher now with the Cognito 4 to 6 kit and the uh, bigger tires, my uh, standard three ton Duralast that I've had for years is not tall enough to lift the truck up uh, except anywhere from the lower control arm. So I can't even reach the frame with it and the problem with that is if I have to work on anything in the front suspension or in the rear suspension for that matter, um, I can't because I have to lift it up by the suspension. So I ordered this uh, as recommended by the shop that did the Cognito and uh, they use them all the time so uh, here's some specs on it <clears throat> it's a two-year warranty three ton capacity oh there you go two feet and four inch lift height also has an eight inch extension on it um, you can get up to a 13 extension and you can get a kind of a mount so you can mount it in the back of your truck or your ATV uh, here is their contact information they're out of California ProEagleProducts.com. <clears throat> Here's some pictures of it. And basically, this is just kind of an unboxing video. There is the part number I got, that top part number. And I'm just going to show you exactly what comes in the box when you get it. Shipped through UPS. Here we go. So, looks like it comes with some sort of case cover of some kind. Let's see. Visual inspection, little uh, instruction manual here. It's packaged pretty well. Um, there you can kind of see what it looks like. It's got these big rubber tires on it. They're solid, they're not pneumatic, so you don't have to worry about them leaking. Um, and they roll really well, apparently, off road, which is the whole point. Um, they, there's carry handles on either side. And if you go on Pro Eagle's website, you'll see that you can also get, like I mentioned, a mount that you can mount this in the back of your truck or ATV, um, you know, or whatever you have. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the box and I'll take some more video of it assembled. Okay, I've got the jack out and you can see underneath the jack there's some more packaging. Here is the handle, which is pretty light. I don't know if it's aluminum or not. And then here's the extension which uh, is adjustable up to 8 inches. So this thing mounts onto the head of the jack and then you can pull that cotter pin out and set it for whatever lift height you want. Um, there is some wood in the bottom. Now one of the interesting things about this jack that I didn't mention is on the bottom it has a full skid plate, which I'll show you right now. And the reason... Let's see. So the reason they do the full skid plate is if you're using this in the sand 
or the dirt, you know, soft soil of any kind, it won't sink. It'll literally sit there and allow you to just keep lifting your vehicle without sinking your jack. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the handle in, put the extension on and kind of show you what it looks like. It's not too heavy. UPS said it was 75 pounds, but it's probably a little less than that, maybe like 60. But uh, overall, I think the quality is really good. Alright, so the handle is a two-piece handle, and it just has these uh, kind of quick-release steels on it, well, at least on one side. Uh, it's got the padding on it, and from the factory, they send it in the packaging, there's these two plastic blocks you have to remove so that you can get the jack to come up. Once you do, just like any other jack, it's got the, you put the handle in, you tighten down this little set screw thing. Um, just quickly showing you kind of how it works, you screw the handle to the, uh, to the right clockwise and then you start jacking and you can see, well that's three strokes, it's already up. It's very quick. So, I'll have to get some weight on it and see how, how it feels, but it does jack quickly. And uh, it's much quicker than the Duralast I had, but that one is about seven years old and I've used it a million times, so it probably leaks a little bit internally. There is uh, another sticker you can get a look at if you want. And here you can kind of see this big set screw thing. So this is the standard lift pad that comes on it. <clears throat> And then if you want to run the extension, I believe you take that off and put the extension on uh, with, a, with an Allen wrench. So I'll read the directions real quick and I'll throw that on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so real quickly before I start assembling this, I just wanted to show you exactly what you get. So this black bag I was showing you earlier is actually a kind of an elastic cover that you can put over the jack when you're storing it. They send you a Pro Eagle sticker, which I'll throw on my fridge in the garage, and then the directions. <clears throat> actually show you pictures what it looks like assembled <clears throat> and I don't know if you can see that but the extension itself comes with a mount so you can mount the extension here the bracket on the jack and if you don't want the extension on you can just mount it right there uh, while you're storing the jack and then as far as how the extension mounts onto the jack itself you can see that it's got these cog things and they fit in and you just turn it a quarter turn and it locks in. So there's no tools required to take the extension on or off. Um, but there is a tool that you need to to mount the bracket you have to have an allen head and then you just thread it through one of those holes and uh, I don't know how I'm going to get my hand in there but I'll get it mounted up and show you what it looks like. Alright guys so I installed the uh, extension bracket onto the jack it's literally, uh, they, it bring, you, they send you these uh, washers and this nut, so in case you want to mount the bracket somewhere else, like in your garage, you have something to do that with, but as far as mounting it on here, you don't use the washers of the nut. The Allen head just goes through the hole, and it's into a threaded nut that's welded onto the back of this plate, and it holds it on nice and sturdy there. So now the way this works is if you want to use the uh, extension, you just pop a little clamp, pop the uh, extension off and then these little quarter turn keyed pieces fit into the jack and it doesn't it's not real tight in there it's just literally once you get some weight on it, it's not going to go anywhere but it holds it in there so it's not going to go around um, so you can use it like that <clears throat> or if you want to extend it you just pull the pull the pin out and then you know there's three three holes in this thing so you can extend it I guess it's five inches so you'd see either uh, six set or it's probably six inches so it's seven or eight so it probably goes six to eight inches but uh, if you're not going to use the extension and you just want to use the jack itself what you do is you put this pin back in okay if I can get it in there with one hand and uh, what you do is you take the uh, take the extension out. Say you don't need it, right? Your truck isn't that high, or you're working on something that's a little bit lower. Put your uh, oh, hold on. Make 
sure this is out. So put your extension back on the jack and then you flip that little bracket over and again this is difficult with one hand but you would you would basically um, go ahead and latch this deal right here there we go snug down and tight and then this rubber pad is the same design where it's got these little um, tabs on it so what you do is they tell you to put that into your um, jack piece here and then turn it so it locks in which I can't do with one hand but you get the idea it protects whatever you're jacking up and it protects these tabs from getting bent because if you bend these you're not going to be able to get the extension in so that's pretty much it guys the only thing they recommend uh, besides inspecting it for any loose nuts or bolts or whatever when you first get it is there may be air in it from shipping so you turn the handle all the way quarter uh, counterclockwise and then they recommend you to pump it up and down 10 to 15 times or 10 to 12 times to get any air out and you know I already did that off camera so I'll show you turn it in here and you can see how quickly it jacks up. I mean it's a fast jack especially if you compare it to the Duralast 3 ton that I already have. So it gets up pretty high by itself. So it's uh, 32 inches of lift height total. Um, so it's about well if it's an 8 inch, eight inch extension then it's 24 inches by itself. So it's two feet of jack without the extension. Then once you put the extension on, it's an extra eight inches. Alright guys, so there you go. That is the highest this thing will lift with the current eight inch extension that comes with it. And then like the box said, if you go on their website you can order a 15 inch extension, which would probably be at probably about up here. So that's quite a bit of lift. I don't think I'll ever need that much, but it's good to know that I have it. Let me get a measurement on that. Alright, so as you can see I lied before. It's actually 28 inches, so it's 2 foot 4 inches of lift height, fully maxed out. Which I think is going to be plenty. I think most jacks are less than 2 feet. They're most, most of them are I think like 18 inches to 20 inches. So this should be uh, more than enough for my application and more than enough for most people's applications. And again, if you need more height, they sell a bigger extension on their website. So let me get it kind of uh, wrapped up here and show you what it looks like with the cover on. And then maybe I'll get some footage of myself jacking up my truck. Alright guys, so here it is, all broken down. You can see the handle is off. Um, this is the Pro Eagle cover they send you for storage. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to leave the cover on or not. It's going to be rolling around in my garage. It's kind of hard to roll it around when you've got a cover on it. So, anyway, that's the, uh, the Pro Eagle 3 ton jack. And uh, I'll get some footage later on when I've got more time of, uh, of it actually underneath my truck so I can show you uh, comparison between this and my Duralast just so you can see the lift height difference and again I'll get a measurement on that jack as well to show you what a difference this one is compared to a standard 
AutoZone or O'Reilly or Napa Jack. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment.